that first little montage of my breakfast breakfast brunch it was fairly late but um yeah a little bit of a different one it is the weekend so I always feel like on the weekend I go like over and above with especially my breakfasts because most days it's just like toast or cereal or anything that's like quick whereas at the weekend you have a little bit more time to make something nice so yeah it was really good I really enjoyed it um and today's video you can tell already but I'm gonna just set the scene. We're gonna go to Boots. Um, I have so many things I need to get. I've just realized I forgot my gift card. Fantastic. I need to go get that. So what I'm gonna do is like set the store, set the scene, go to Boots, get all the stuff that I need to get. And then I'll do a little haul at the end, I think. It's a really nice sunny day today and I'm wearing a really thick jumper. So I'm already regretting it. Um, but yes, gonna be, I'm not gonna do a drive with me. I think because this camera really doesn't get on in this car, like when you're driving, and you're not gonna hear me over the blower anyway, because I'm gonna need that on, because I wore a jumper on a really hot day. So, yeah, see you when we get there. We're here. I went back and got my gift card. Let's go. this here rather than in the car because I was kind of like I can explain a bit better um so the first thing I got was this um I need a new bronzer I thought I would try this one um yes my nails are really chapped ignore them but I thought I would try this um I actually just watched a video I think it was was it I think it was Molly May but it could actually be Hannah Renee I think that's how you say it if it's not that also rhymes but i think it actually was maybe in a ooh, molly may video so yeah i don't even know if this is the right shade i got deep tan um because i think that's what was said in the video i i'm a copycat i'm a copycat and i'm 
absolutely gonna admit it um so yeah this was the first thing i think it was like eight pound fifty i think so i hope that is good the next thing that i got is this translucent powder again i've never tried this before um i normally get the number seven there's two there's a number seven like which is called actually let me google it because one of them is really crap it's rubbish and i know that because i got it thinking oh they've just changed the, the packaging of it and they hadn't like it's a completely different one um one sec i will let you know right okay so i thought that this was just a change of this and it's not the case this is the one that i used to get um perfect light loose powder i mean it has like 279 reviews and it has like 4.5 out of five on the stars it's a really great setting powder i think it's like a really good dupe for is it laura mercier i'm not sure but it's incredible it just does basically what you want it to do on the tin and then they have this one which is called flawless finish and it to be fair it looks completely different in it's in like a white packaging rather than a back black packaging but it's just i mean this has got 147 reviews and it has one star. I wanted to stay clear of it. And the woman in the shop actually said that they don't do the other one anymore. They don't do the one that I like. They only do that one. And I was like, mm, but I don't want it. So I saw collection and my um, concealer that I use is the collection Last Imperfection concealer. So I thought, seeing as I like collection other product hopefully i would like this and it was only 2.99 so i thought if it is um not the best it's not the end of the world that i spent loads on it um because like i do like the laura mercier i've had that before and becca as well they did a really like cool cooling really cool cooling one it was like it went on your face and it felt cold but they're expensive and i don't have the money to spend like 40 quid on a loose setting powder that I use all the time. So I thought I would try this one out and I will let you know if it's any good. Next thing was shampoo and conditioner. So I did a boots haul type like this, similar video last year, last good, actually I can just find out. Why am I going like, Meh. I mean, I'll tag it as I always do when I speak about a video, but I can find out what it was. And I, in that video, was talking about um, sheer moisture. And I'd seen um, a girl on TikTok talking about sheer moisture, saying how good it was, saying how it like revitalized her hair and brought it back from the dead. And it was amazing and everybody had to try it. So I was like, mm, as I said earlier with the this i am very easy influenced and thought okay i'll give that a go i'll see if i like it and lo and behold it was incredible okay it was six months ago the video went out on the 10th of september and we're now april so six months of using the sheer moisture um hair mask and i pretty much used it once a week as recommended and i have to admit my hair felt thicker it felt softer i don't want to say it grew quick quicker you know i didn't i don't want to say like oh my god if you tr use this product your hair's going to grow xyz that plant looks really weird anyway um yeah i don't want to say that it grew a lot better but it definitely just felt healthier my hair felt so much healthier than not using it and if there would be like a week go by when i didn't use it i felt like i could notice that my hair was almost more straw like it wasn't as soft so the one that i used before the hair mask that i used previously was one that said strengthen and restore which i do feel like it did but i used to use a lot more heat on my hair than i do at the minute most of the times i just do like protective hairstyles where it's clipped back or in a bun like i'm not i don't really use that much heat other than on like these front bits so i thought i would try this one so this says that it's intense hydration just a little bit different um we've got manuka honey mafura oil and fig extract it says the manuka honey acts as a why am i trying to read this one i can't even read hum hum -citant? bringing moisture to hair i have no idea what that says um 
The Mufura oil is natural damage control, softens and promotes healthy hair. And the fig extract is an antioxidant and it's vitamin C, protects, keeps hair looking vibrant. So I like the kind of the describing words that were used. And with the other one, seeing as I got on with it so well, um, yeah, I thought I would give this one a go. Mix things up, but stay within the kind of sheer moisture range. I think it's just a very like natural, all the products and stuff that they put within it is, ooh. oh, it smells really nice. It smells, I think I just almost got that on my nose, but it smells, it does smell very honey-y. Honey-y, that is not a word. It's got a very strong smell of honey. And the reason I went, ooh, when I opened it is because this one is white and it's very like a bright white. Whereas the one that I used previously was a bit more of like a, I don't know how you would describe it. It's kind of like a creamy colour. I don't know if I show it in the... Well, I know I showed the, the bottle. But I don't know if I show it with the lid on. Um, but yeah, it's like... It was a lot more creamy of a... It was kind of like this colour, really. Like a brownie colour. Um, but yeah. thought I would pick this one up and see how it goes. And I will let you know if I like it. But what I can say is... From the last six months with the other hair mask... Highly, highly, highly recommend... Um, and while I was there, I also picked up these. So um, I have tried, not this specific, again, not this intense hydration kind, but I have tried the shampoo and conditioner within the sheer moisture range. Again, it was the same as before. It was the rest restorative one um, that like helps if you use a lot of heat or color your hair. So I thought I would try this one and see what I thought. The one thing, I love the pump that they use on the conditioner, but they don't have that on the shampoo. And I guess it's technically because you should use far less shampoo. You, you should just like, apparently you should only use a pea, like not a pea size amount, but like a little blob. Whereas like normally you would, anyway, um, I guess that's why, but I do wish that they had this head on this. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. Just cause it's easier to use. Like you can just like, Whereas this is like you have to squeeze. And especially when the like bottle is nearly used up, it's a little bit more difficult. But anyway, these were what I got. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the haul. Morning. It's the next day, if you hadn't realised. Um, I look a bit different. But I thought I would come on and just quickly say my thoughts on the products I got. So they're just down here because I'm getting ready in the car as usual these so i just wanted to quickly say well so i got it in number two translucent but there was also i think there was one which was like more of a white powder um which i think was transparent i don't remember but yeah it was okay it was okay for the fact that it's 2.99 it definitely did the job um though what i will say about this this is the matte bronzer can i open it with one hand Mm, 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 mm. there we go this i haven't even took the sticky thing off the thing yet but that's that um what can i say about this what i will say is a little goes a long way um i've obviously got it on today i feel like the color's not the greatest can you see um yeah i do like it though a little goes a long way and i don't know whether it's a little bit dark or I just didn't need to put a lot on, but I did find like literally I could dab the brush in the palette and then it would be like, like, and, and I had to be careful because I would get like a smudge mark. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, very good, though a little goes a long way. So just be careful when you're using it, if you end up getting it, or maybe you already have it. But yeah, deep tan, I think I got, color wise, deep tan. Um, I don't know what other colors they do, maybe a lighter one would have been better but it is a nice kind of cooler color and then in regards to the shampoo and conditioner obviously i haven't used it so i can't really comment on it yet but i will let you know as always and in regards to the six months ago one i can definitely say that that is good um we're at a traffic light and this is really awkward because people are crossing the road but yeah I think that's everything um bit of a shorter video this week it was just a quick nip to 
stock up on bits and bobs and then talk about them so yeah hope you enjoyed nonetheless and if you did please leave me a like down below so i'm not really sure what next week's video is going to be hopefully it'll be a bit longer than this one maybe a bit more exciting um but subscribe to find out thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next week for another video bye for now